Hey guys, Shane Stars with DroidMotorX.com. By now you've probably heard that Google has finally released Android 4.4.3. We have really been waiting uh, quite a while. In fact, there were some images that were leaked showing that this build was kind of being held back since March. Uh, it is now June, but it has finally been released. It's not as big of an update as some were expecting. It does include some new features, which are not really tablet specific. They're more for the phone. So like your contacts, your people's app, those have been updated in design. And then you have a lot of under the hood tweaks like camera, Wi-Fi connectivity, Bluetooth connectivity, LTE connectivity. The fix that I'm most excited about in this new update on the Nexus 10 tablet is that random reboot. For some of you guys, that has been an issue. Random reboots has been probably my biggest issue with the Nexus 10. Google claims to have fixed the random reboot in this update, uh, so that's a big thumbs up for that. You're probably wondering what is the best way to update to Android 4.4.3. If you're like me, you flash ROMs, you've got a custom recovery. If you don't have a custom recovery, it's real easy to update. You would just go to settings, about tablet, and system updates. Then that would download your update and it would flash it. If you're on a custom recovery, chances are you'll have to go all the way back to stock, flash a stock recovery, and then you can update that way or you can download and install a 4.4.3 pre-rooted ROM. For me, that is the easiest way to update, so that's what I'm gonna show you guys today. What you wanna do is head to the link in the description, it'll bring you to this page. This is the thread for Hans Pample's Nexus 10 factory image, Odex and Deodex pre-rooted 4.4.3 for the Nexus 10. Of course, you can download, uh, you can download it right here. He suggests using Phil's Advanced Clockwork Mod Recovery if you're running an older version of Team Win Recovery Project, which I am, this should work on Team Win Recovery Project. He's saying that if you're on 2.7.0.1, you're gonna get a sim link error. Uh, like I said, I'm on a previous version of Twerp and it worked for me. You may want to go ahead and update to Phil's Advanced Clockwork Mod Recovery if for some reason Twerp doesn't work for you. There's a link there for uh, Phil's Advanced Clockwork Mod Recovery. Once you have the file downloaded, you're going to power off the device. and boot into recovery. Okay, so the way that we're gonna boot into recovery is volume down and power. Okay, so to boot into recovery, you'll just hold volume up, down, and power while the device is powered off. You'll scroll to recovery mode and press power to select. If you're running stock 4.4.2, you do not have to wipe. I did not wipe. If you're running 4.3 or any custom ROM, such as CyanogenMod, AOKP, Clean ROM, or any of the like, you'll want to make sure that you uh, wipe data first. So the very first thing you want to do is go to Backup and swipe to Backup. This will create an Android backup, so you'll always be able to return uh, to 4.4.2 if for any reason you need to. If for some reason this ROM doesn't flash correctly and you end up in a boot loop, you can always boot into recovery and reinstall your Android. Also, if there's some kind of information that's on that ROM that you need to get to or access later on. Once you've wiped everything, it is gone unless you make a backup. So just be sure to make an Android backup. When that's finished, we'll go back. You'll wipe, swipe to wipe, and then you'll install the ROM. You're looking for stock Android 4.4.3 Deodex Manta by Hans Pample Zip. Go ahead and select that and swipe to confirm flash. You do not have to flash any G apps because the G apps are pre-built into this ROM. So we'll go ahead and swipe to flash. This will take about five to 10 minutes to flash. It took longer than I had anticipated. So just be very patient with that. As Soon as it's finished, we'll come back and boot the ROM. Okay, so when the install is finished, you'll see the successful screen. Then you will reboot system. Give that just a few minutes to reboot. Uh, if you did wipe your data, it'll take a little longer to reboot because you wiped everything and it's having to boot up for the first time, essentially. Okay, so when everything is loaded up, uh, we'll go into settings and about tablet, and we'll take a look at the Android version. It's 4.4.3. Build number is KTU84L, and this was pre-rooted. So you guys can see that we have the Super SU pre-installed, and if we check for root, it says congratulations, this device has root access. 
So anyways, guys, that is the quick and easy method for updating to Android 4.4.3 on the Google Nexus 10. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more coverage like this in the near future. You can find more of me at droidmonitorx.com where I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one. Really quickly though, before you go, uh, check out the Android 4.4.3 Easter egg. It's the same exact Easter egg, but they have changed the Android version to Android 4.4.3. Anyways, guys, that's a wrap. Peace.